Hey, welcome to another week here at the Tolerin. I'm back from Brazil and this is Thanksgiving weekend, so I have some extra time. So I decided to rent an excavator or a backhoe in this, uh, for this case. Um, and I have been working on digging out um, that entire driveway area so that we can get started with maybe putting some gravel down and we can park our car um, or my truck and Julius um, SUV here on the property whenever we are here.
it rained most of the night and today so we got a big uh, mud pit here today I took the first hour here without the camera to just clean this up take the first couple three uh, three four inches maybe even off here everywhere pushed it to the side that was completely um, soaked in water so that I don't slide around here you can see it's still pretty muddy down here but um, I did my best but it's just a little too tight with all the slate everywhere and I uh, can manage just getting over there and back up uh, without sliding around and so now that I have taken that whole mud pit over to the side here I will take it down on top of the pile here too and then we'll finish cleaning up this corner over here and then I think we would be done for this week as I just really wanted to get this front here done this um, this time around obviously I would have liked to get more stuff done on the other side with the backhoe too but it just didn't work out with how Thanksgiving fell and uh, when I came back from Brazil So I did find some evidence of a fix at one point from a French drain, um, probably pretty recent in the last 15 years or so. Um, they were probably fixing this corner of this roof here, uh, of this side here, um, when they did this re uh, reworking of that concrete wall, and they stopped right here at the corner. They didn't continue it all the way. If they did, that would have probably fixed our water issue uh, at that point already. But <clears throat> since they stopped right here. All that water was pooling right there from the French drain that was just continuously running down here and right in this crack that you can see here um, the water would always penetrate and then go into the building so that's one of the reasons why we had this water issue um, they were probably planning on finishing refinishing this side of the wall too at one point um, that's why they stopped at this corner they must have ran out of money or something and that's why they didn't finish it all the way but this is one of our reasons why we had always had water issues at this corner when i get a little further down i will show you guys but there is a pipe that comes out straight down there and that is that other part of the french drain but haven't found anything this way yet they were clearly trying to fix it maybe it was just a actual gutter spot that they were trying to evacuate the water from over there but uh, they didn't have any gravel around it so that's another issue their water was wasn't actually being able to get to the pipe if it was a French drain, I have to inspect the pipe when I get down to it um, first, but I have to obviously dig out a little bit more of the dirt first. So as I was digging here uh, yesterday evening, it was pretty dark. I hit the water line. Uh, it was actually not at the spot that they uh, marked for me. It was actually another two feet further um, outside of the driveway here. Eventually we'll have to uh, move this water line a little bit further in because we'll have a little retaining wall right here. But 
Um, for right now, I'm just gonna fix it so that we that I can spray down the tr uh, the tractor uh, when I'm all done and have some running water again. So this is a temporary fix, even though this is a full permanent solution, you could just put dirt on top of this and be done with it. But since there is our wall right in line here, um, where we're digging out, um, eventually next year in the summer when we actually start putting our driveway in, we will dig out this section further. There's going to be another two feet or so that we need to go because we need to put the wall right here where the water line is. And because of that, that entire section obviously needs to move backwards. We will do that next year in the summer. There is no stress right now, so this will uh, be a temporary fix for um, the next few months. I will probably, as it gets colder here, I will probably cover this up a little so it doesn't freeze and I don't have any more water issues in the future, but um, this should be at least um, holding us and we shouldn't have any issues. So one of the things that I found here while digging is the old gas line that they originally had in the building. They probably used it uh, to uh, partially to cook and then also to light the place. And they had gas lanterns everywhere. Um, I think I showed in another video that they had um, probably a big fire at one point where the entire roof was going up in flames and it was probably started by one of those um, gas lines um, lights that is uh, that was in the second floor and I see a lot of charring around some of those areas and um, they probably replaced this in the early um, 1900 um, and they replaced it with knob and tube wiring and took out this gas line obviously they didn't need it anymore but uh, they didn't dig, uh, dig up the ground so this is still a re uh, relic from the old times when they built the house um, I, it's mostly all of the out of the ground now there's probably still a few sec little sections that i didn't get but in general it's all gone here now so one of the things i did is i took some of those root balls that i dug out um, on the first day and i pushed them all the way out to the side to keep them out of the way and i also pushed some of the really muddy area muddy dirt from here from the rain out to the sides because it made it a little easier to move around um, some of the areas I couldn't do this. You can see I have some big ruts here now. Um, these are actually not ruts from in the ground. They are just um, dirt and mud that is on top. It came off the tires. But overall, I made a big pile down here. You can see the entire uh, backyard here is all full of dirt, about six foot high and is all out of the way. I could have probably, if I'd taken even more, I could have probably filled out this entire section here. Obviously, I still have the brick here, so I need to be a little bit careful. And in the future, uh, when I rent uh, the backhoe again, what is the next job is we want to get some of the area here um, flattened out. There's some of the um, a side wall that we need to build, and therefore we need this uh, section dug out and then we can flatten those areas. And we can use some of this fill dirt here that we have um, to fill the areas that we need to, and the rest we will probably just use in this area to flatten out and give us a little bit more space out the backyard. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, there's still some sections that um, I would like to flatten out more, but because it is so muddy, I'm just sliding around. So I'm just gonna leave it like this, but overall, we got this entire section, the dirt removed. When we are ready to take down this wall, it's probably gonna wait a little bit because it's starting to get cold. Um, we will do this, this last section by hand before we push the wall in, just so that the wall doesn't uh, fall early or the <coughs> balcony doesn't fall on us. So therefore I'm going to do that last part with hand. And then over here, I took down a little more than I needed to, but that is really just so it makes it easier to come up and down here um, with the backhoe. And then also, um, if you guys remember, uh, the plan is to put a wall, continue this wall here, this corner out 
along this way to the property line uh, on this side and then make an L shape up to the corner. That way we can, and we want to make this wall at least the height here where we have the, um, the water barrier here so that we can flatten this whole entire area out. We can put cobblestone here eventually and have a nice area for uh, parking our car and um, do some other things, uh, maybe a basketball court or something for the kids, but just something fun for them to play in here. Well, I think this is it for this week. Have a wonderful time and I'll see you next time I turn on the camera. Bye. I will give you a small little update about Brazil. I had a really good time. Um, we got a lot of stuff done. We actually finished the house, or at least um, we got the siding, we got the roofing, and we got the interior rooms all finished. There is a little bit of electrical that is still need to be done, but otherwise the house is complete. The family can move in. Um, as soon as they're ready, they're gonna finish the light switches themselves and then they will be able to move into the new house um, so overall it's very, it was very successful nobody got really sick or anything so we had a really good time it was very hot and humid the whole time but um, we coped we had a lot of fans going and so overall it was a very good trip i have a lot of videos i have a lot of uh, images pictures that we took over that over the time I will try to put that together. It might take a little bit because I want to do this personally. I want to make a nice video um, for the family there. Um, I also have a lot of footage to just to go through. So uh, bear with me sometime in December. I will post that video about the Brazil tip. So just stay tuned and I'm looking forward to sharing my experience with you guys also. Thanks.